falling asleep. That's not my goal to relax you and make you fall asleep and all that. We're trying to get to the results. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shakia if you are new here. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about Groupon. I tried Groupon so that you don't have to. So if you don't already know what Groupon is, Groupon is like a site and app that you can list your um, business on and list certain services that you want on there and people are able to book you at a discounted price um, and you can also find businesses on there like if you want a facial massage all that type of stuff um, and you're on a budget or you just like having services at a discounted rate then you can look on Groupon Obviously, being home-based in the beginning couldn't use Groupon because they want to make sure that you're in, um, like, I guess a brick and mortar. I'm not sure. Um, that's what I got from it. So when I did move outside of the home into my salon suite, I was like, oh, this is this would be a nice opportunity to try this out. I had also just started full time at my salon suite, so. I tr I was still trying to gain clientele and all that, so I figured Groupon would be a good way to help increase clientele. I knew like the clients, I wasn't expecting the clients to stay with me because if you've heard about Groupon before, you know like it's basically deal chasers trying to um, get services and all that. So. I'm gonna talk about the pros first. So the pros of Groupon was that, um, one, it exposed my business to a wider audience. People that may not have seen my business advertised before, uh, they were finding me through Groupon. I gained like a client who's a regular pricing client from Groupon because they found me through Groupon. I would say the next pro is that um, if you have any spots that are open on your schedule, a lot of times Grouponers can fill that space. So again, it helps bring traffic into your business. Another pro is, which um, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do, another pro is um, some clients, before they buy your Groupon, they'll see if you honor that price, if you'll honor that price without them buying the voucher so that you get that whole discounted price. Because um, with Groupon, they list your service for very cheap and you're getting paid half of that very cheap price so it's not very much so you do have some people who are hip and will wait and see if you'll honor the price at your spot so that and they don't buy the groupon so that you get that discounted the whole amount of the discounted price if that makes sense and i think that is about it it's definitely a learning lesson because I had already heard about Groupon and like why you shouldn't waste your time with Groupon. But of course, me being me, I had to check it out for myself. So I will say the cons are you aren't going to, if you're expecting lifelong clients, Groupon isn't the way to go because a lot of, most of the time, Grouponers, they're, they're looking for a deal they just want a deal they want the deal and that's it so um for loyal clientele unless you're keeping your groupon up there forever or if you're always using groupon um you're probably not going to see those clients again so another con is the amount that you're paid because your Groupon is already listing your business for super cheap and well your services for super cheap and then they take half of that super cheap price for themselves and then you get the other half whenever 
the Groupon is redeemed. So the price that I was being paid for like each of those Groupon clients, like it wouldn't even pay for the cost of supplies, basically the cost of supplies and product. Um, so in the end, it wasn't really worth it. I'll say if you are just wanting models, maybe you can use them as models and you need more picture, video, that type of thing. Maybe use Groupon for that, but it's like, it's not, I don't feel like Groupon would be all that sustainable for your business and you shouldn't rely you shouldn't rely totally on Groupon because you won't be making much. Another con that I found with Groupon because people are just trying to find a deal is a lot of them aren't that serious about their skin. And if you're new here, I'm more of a results driven esthetician and I care about transforming skin and all that. I'm not, I don't, care if you're relaxing or whatever falling asleep that's not my goal to relax you and make you fall asleep and all that we're trying to get to the results so it's like if those clients are just chasing a deal then and they're not really serious about their skin you'll know because the vibe of their appointment is like okay i'm like oh um what are your concerns and it's like they're not really trying to answer or they're really short with their answers and it's like okay well i'm just doing this for the groupon if you're more results driven it's gonna suck <laughs> when you're uh with some groupon clients because they might just need to relax maybe they're just booking with you because you're um cheap on groupon and maybe they want to relax and this is their self-care day whatever the case may be i honestly feel like if you if you're going the groupon route then you should just discount the services yourself and advertise them as those um as that discounted price for that moment um instead of going through groupon because at least you'll get a little bit more whereas you're already discounting your price on Groupon for a heavily discounted rate and they encourage you to like keep discounting it and then you get half of that discounted rate. I don't feel like it's worth it. Maybe, like I said before, if you need models for something then that's nice or if you have like a very high, high service, like a high price service, maybe the discounted uh, rate will be a little bit more worth it, but I don't feel like my prices are that expensive and for them to be cut in half and then I get half of what's already cut in half, I don't feel like it's worth it. But of course, if you're like me and you just wanna try it out for yourself, then you can go ahead and try, try it out for yourself. Um, I have recently, not recently, I think maybe the new year, well, that is recent. Um, I went in and I stopped all of my uh, promotions that were on there. I only did like two promotions, two different promotions, but I stopped those. Um, so right now I'm just waiting for all the people who bought the vouchers come in for their appointments. I'm just waiting for them to redeem their uh, Groupon voucher so that I can be completely done with Groupon. You don't get paid every time someone purchase purchases a voucher. You get paid once it's redeemed. So they have to, you either scan, type in their phone number, I think, or their name. I always just scan it just to make sure and scan will scan their voucher. I did have someone actually print out the voucher before, which was cool, but I just scanned the voucher um, versus trying to type stuff in and search for it. But yeah, if you were interested in Groupon, I hope this video helped um, and I will see you in my next one.